Hey guys, we're back down in the planting room. Figured I'd do a quick update, show you guys how all the plants we've started over the past two weeks are doing. I'll check the onions, see if they're uh, long enough to uh, to trim them back. I checked the, the seed packet and it says to give them a, a trim. When the, the first leaf gets to about five inches, you trim it back to, to three inches. So we'll see if we've hit that, uh, that five inch mark. Uh, take a look at the other plants and last thing on the list is to plant some dill. I did uh, have some dill plants last year that didn't do very well uh, but my pickling cucumbers also didn't do uh, very well so wasn't really a big deal but uh, this year we're going to give it another try. I'm going to move the cucumbers into one of my four foot beds see if they do uh, do a little bit better there. If we get a lot of pickling cucumbers, then we're going to need a lot of dill to, uh, to go along with it. So uh, let's get those planted. Okay, so first things first, we'll get these dill plants uh, in the ground. I'll do 40 plants. I have no idea really how many I'm going to need or how much dill I'm going to use this year. Uh, but I have the other half tray from the tomatoes that we planted last week. So we'll just do the rest of these with dill plants. Standard dill seeds. I didn't get these ones from uh, Stokes. I forgot when I put my order in. That's it, uh, 40 dill plants planted. I'll make a note of it uh, in the logbook. I'm probably not going to use all 40 plants, but whatever I don't use, I'll give away to uh, friends and family, anybody who's looking for, uh, for dill plants. Okay, let's take a look at uh, how the plants that we've been planting over the past two weeks are doing. I'll take them out of, uh, of the light garden. The, um, the red blue lights really don't uh, don't make the plants look very good. They all look kind of uh, kind of a pale gray because there's no uh, there's no green light. Uh, so I'll take all the uh, the trays out, uh, let you guys uh, have a look at how everything's doing. Um, yeah, we'll uh, decide if we're going to uh, prune the onions. All right, let me grab some uh, some plants. Okay, I have everything out. Tomato plants are just starting to germinate. Uh, hopefully my germination rate's better than that, otherwise uh, I'll have to reseed. And that'll mean uh, I have much smaller plants than I'd like to going out into the garden. But uh, we'll see what happens there. We'll give them uh, another week and, uh, and see if anything, uh, anything materializes. Hopefully it does. The peppers that we planted two weeks ago, most of them have come up. These are the super shepherds. So... A couple didn't. A uh, couple didn't germinate. Three of them didn't. Uh, looks like three of them didn't germinate. All of the what are these? Jalapenos, the banana peppers, the eggplants have all germinated. That's those two. Uh, so all the new seeds that I purchased had uh, had very good germination rates. 
the habanero peppers and the long red uh, hot peppers one of them uh, one of the long red germinated none of the habaneros germinated the seeds are uh, are kind of older so I uh, half expected that the onions are looking okay um, the germination rates uh, not bad not as good as I would have uh, I would have liked it um, this variety I think this is the white onion yes these are the white onions these are doing really well uh, the red onions on the other hand I'm not sure they're kind of starting to to curl over some of them are are shriveling up a little bit we'll see what happens I don't think we're going to uh, to prune them today most of them aren't are only about three inches to begin with you have the odd one that's that's quite long but uh, uh, most of them aren't uh, aren't long enough yet so we'll see what happens I'm not really liking the look of these two trays but uh, again we'll let them uh, We'll let them do their thing and uh, and see what happens. All right, guys, that's about it. Just a quick update. I will keep an eye on those uh, two onion trays. Really don't like the look of those plants, but there's nothing we can do now. We just gotta see if uh, if they pull through. The next plants that we're gonna be starting are broccolis in a couple weeks. We had a really good crop last year, so I'm not looking to change the timing of those uh, at all. And then couple weeks after that is when the bulk of the indoor planting is going to happen usually about a month before uh, I plan to transplant them outside we're getting some really good weather um, which may point to an early spring so I might move that forward a week um, if it doesn't happen an extra week inside isn't really uh, going to to harm anything um, but we're we're definitely hoping that uh, that the weather cooperates this year last year was terrible we had an awful awful spring we had a really late frost, if you look back, that we lost most of the pepper plants that I had grown indoors. Um, so hopefully we, uh, we do better this year. Anyways, until next time, we'll see you later.